can use all kinds of things. Can you call the meeting to order at 4.30? Have the regular meeting minutes from uh, December 6th. Uh, can I add that before we kick? I want to. You want to add it to the, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'd like to add the uh, pump at the firehouse. Uh, put it up for sale. Okay. You want that, uh, like? Make it uh, right after uh, 2A. Okay, 2A. I'll second that. Uh, I'll make a motion to pass the minutes. Oh, vote on adding to the agenda first. Oh, okay. Uh, you got that, Laurel? Yes. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. And you make a motion to pass the minutes December 6th? Yeah. I would here uh, for that meeting. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, next is petition for town meeting. We received a petition to call for a town meeting. Uh, we received the last Wednesday, I think. Uh, the petition is in your packet. I believe, along with a letter from Curly Grimes, Kramer, and Anderson. All right, you re you received it from the Pullman. Yes, right. and uh, Lori uh, verified Pullman. signatures. Yeah, it was twenty six. Now that it, uh, we have a chance. Get legal opinion on this because <clears throat> I get my thoughts right. Right now, planning and zoning has already approved one cultivation correct in town. Yep. They also have a letter stating that the town of Morris will approve cultivation in Morris. Mm -hmm. And we have currently one more farm looking to purchase some property in town. Okay. So my question to the attorney was, and the way this reads, the ordinance prohibit cannabis establishment in the town of Morris. Well, we already have one approved. One approved. So how is this? Does this have to be rewritten where it says no further cannabis shall be grown in Morris? So. Yeah, I think we have a number of questions for the attorney about this. Uh, one, I think, can you utilize the town meeting to pass an ordinance to overturn, overrule zoning regulations? All right. I think that's kind of a question. Uh, perhaps another one is, I think, and this is where obviously the legal opinion would come in. I think there's a process set in the statutes that were developed just for the cannabis on how to go through and like ban establishments within a municipality. Okay. Uh, so I think we really need to talk with our attorney, I did send him this. I sent him all the zoning stuff uh, that was passed in the town, including the one that got approved. Okay. So I really think we need to get some answers from the attorney so we can move forward. I would feel comfortable with that. Uh, <clears throat> I think that I would vote to send this to the town attorney, and get some legal advice. Because if we make a decision, we could open ourselves up to a lawsuit that's one that's already established in town. Right. And plus some regulations that planning and zoning have already put forward. Right. Uh, we make a motion to refer this to our town attorney. I will, I will make that motion. I'll second that. And as I said, he does have this information and I, he does have the other information on the zoning regulations that were passed for cultivation in Morris. He's yeah. got the application or the, believe the application and everything of the one that was approved. Right. So he has that to go to look at. And uh, I'm assuming he, once we contact him, he'll probably get back to us fairly soon. Because I think there is a 20 day 
uh, timetable to call for a town meeting from the time you get the signature from when it was received. Okay. As long as it's for a lawful purpose. Okay. So that opinion from our attorney will be uh, obviously quite important. So determine how we move forward. Because we do have a process for an ordinance in town. Right. That you submit to our ordinance committee. They review it and then send it to the selectmen. Right. And I don't know if that process was done or not. I don't believe it was. It didn't go through the ordinance committee. Right. So, I mean, that, our, attorney, our attorney did not uh, review this ordinance, okay. proposed ordinance. Okay. Oh, so he hasn't reviewed this. I mean, I mean, he has it now. He didn't review yeah, it. Yeah. He didn't review Okay. No. Yeah. So I'd like to make that motion. Okay. I seconded it. <clears throat> Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. You want to go back to the trash pump? Sorry. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Go on, motion to. You wanted to put it on marketplace? Try to get some bids on it. Yeah. I'll make that motion to put it on marketplace. I'll second it and just. And if it doesn't sell, then we just scrap it. Scrap it. Okay. Yeah, this is a trash pump from uh, many, many years yeah. ago from the fire, comp fire department and uh, it's no longer needed. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, appointments. Do not know Sarah Leo. Uh, we have a beach and rec appointment for a term ending October 14th, 2027. And Sarah Leo has agreed to sit on uh, beach and rec. Yeah, I'll make that motion to appoint. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. That was it, Laurel. Mm -hmm. Correspondence, I had none. And public comment. We do have members of the public that would assume like to comment. Uh, uh, Bill Battles, I just have one question uh, kind of regarding this whole campus thing. When the statute was passed by the legislature, it, it Morris was put on that DIA list. I just wonder what the, the exact date was that Morris was notified. Did we get notified by a letter that we were on that list, or how did you how did you know that we were on that list? You know, when did we find that out? I do not know the date. I do remember seeing it as part of an email that was sent out during that. But from I'm the state sure. legislature, or who did, yeah. who did it come from? Did I believe from the section. I believe from the state. I'm not sure. If you can find out and just I'll look it. for it. I'll look for it if I if I have it. So how did the first one slip through? I mean, shouldn't something like that have come to a town meeting? You know, with the first one that was just kind of split into their home base there. Yeah. With zoning board. I believe it went through the process through zoning. I believe it people have no say in it. I the uh, regulations, there was a hearing for the regulations that townspeople could have spoken at or against before the regulations were adopted. The first one, though, was after the regulations, I guess. But, well, yeah. I don't know. That's a good question for zoning. Yeah, well, I mean, and I have no quandaries in asking them because it's like, you know, nothing's ever posted about stuff like that. And the next thing I know, I hear from Kevin himself well, that, bam, there's, you know, right by him. Well, it was posted. It was posted in the newspaper under the legal section. All right. Well, they that's did. Part, that's part of it. I don't know if you saw it. I don't think anybody saw the letter I did. I did. In Waterbury. Yes, I did. Like, not many people saw that. Then, like, that's part of the problem. It started when people in town, you just like, but you know, how many people get the newspaper? Not everybody. Not everyone has a computer to check the town website. Like who reads legal notices? I read them because my profession. Once in a while, I know I have a client in front of a zoning board somewhere in a meeting for real estate. But who reads that stuff? Nobody. I think that's the biggest mistake the town made when all this started. When the legislation was passed, Tommy, I think you should have called the town meeting and said, "This is what can happen. We need to sit down and talk about this whole thing." And, and now we got this can of worms, and it's. I think it's going to be the biggest black mark on our town that we've ever seen in 175 years of our history. I think it's disgraceful. Anyone else? I have a question. So you've made a motion to send this to the town attorney for his opinion. 
how's that? Can you explain to me how that process works at this point? I like, think what's going to happen next? You're going to send this to him. He's going to look at it. He's going to come back with an opinion on how to move forward with it. Okay. And how do we get informed of what his opinion is? Do we? Uh, well, well, depending on yeah, what the ability to come up at the next uh, or selectman meeting, which I think is January third. What? How's that process work? De depending on what the opinion is, I mean, uh, if he feels we have to move forward quickly, uh, then we'd call another special board of selectmen. Okay. Well, I mean, we do have the holiday coming. Any ideas? I, I haven't seen the opinion yet, so I don't know. Okay. Can I ask that I be notified or my attorney notified at that point? As soon as we know how we're going to move forward, definitely. Okay. One more question. I just, you know, for silly question, but as select people now, do you have the right as our representative to our town to, to make a motion right now at a town meeting to place a moratorium on all cannabis activities? And, until the attorneys decide you, you, you couldn't legally make that motion? No. Who wanted to make on a motion for more intent? Is that a zoning thing? I would, a thing? I'm sorry. Is that a zoning thing or a selectman thing? That is a land use but, issue, and that would be with zoning. Okay. Thank you. The uh, board of selectmen stay out of land use issues for reasons, good reasons. That's their specialty, not ours. Right. Huh. Anyone else? Okay, is there a motion to adjourn at 442? I'll make that motion. Uh, second, all those in not favor? Not a question, right. but that's all right.